Hey everyone, welcome back to Sibrov. Now Roblox not launching, not opening is a very common problem on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So in this video, I will be sharing the best method to fix this kind of problem where your Roblox is not launching, not coming up on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first thing that you will have to do, click on your Windows search, type inetcpl.cpl, hit the enter key, the internet properties will be up. Now here from the top menu option, you have to click on advanced, then click on restore advanced settings. Once done, click on apply, click on OK. Now next, right click on the windows icon, then click on run. In the run box, you have to type percent temp percent again, click on OK. Now select all these files here. These are the temporary files, so you don't have to worry. So you can press Ctrl A from your keyboard and it will select all then make a right click and choose delete you can skip the file that is not able to delete then close it again make a right click on the windows icon click on run this time you have to type just temp temp then click on ok again press ctrl a to select all right click and choose delete continue skip the item that you are not able to delete and then you can close it next make a right click on the windows icon then click on settings in the setting from the left in menu option click on network and internet now here you have to make sure that your vpn and the proxy has been disabled so click on the vpn and if there is any kind of vpn connected disable it then go back click on proxy and if any manual proxy has been set up, then you have to disable it. Once you are done, close it. Next, click on your Windows search. Type allow. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on allow an app through Windows Firewall. Now here you have to look for the Roblox. So once you get it, just make sure that these two options are being checked. So click on change settings and assure these two options are being checked. Now in case if you don't find the Roblox over here, then you have to click on allow another app then you have to browse to the location of roblox so to find the path click on your windows search type roblox in this suggestion you will be getting roblox player right click on it choose open file location again right click on roblox player choose open file location copy the path go back Click on browse, paste the path at the top here, hit the enter key and this will show you now Roblox player launcher.exe. Select it, then click on open and then click on add. I have already added so it's giving me this error that it's already been added but you have to add it. And once added you also need to assure that these two options of private and public are being checked. Once done click on ok. Next click on your windows search, type cmd right click on command prompt choose run as administrator click on yes now here you have to type two different command that you will find in the description the first one will be ip config space forward slash flush dns hit the enter key the next one will be netsh space winsock space reset again hit the enter key once it's been done close it next make a right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on device manager the device manager will be up here look for the display adapter double click on it and whichever graphic driver graphic card you're using it will be displayed here make a right click on it and choose update driver click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available you will be getting this kind of message that windows has successfully updated your driver but if not, then you will be getting a message that you already have the updated driver. Alright, so once you are done, close it. Next, click on your Windows search. Type graphic. Click on graphic setting from the suggestion. Now here you have to add the Roblox player to the high graphic performance. So again, you have to click on browse. Then you have to locate to the Roblox path. So for that, again, click on your Windows search. Type Roblox. Right click on the Roblox player, choose open file location. Right click on Roblox player again, open file location. 
copy the path from the top again come to the graphic page click on browse paste the path at the top hit the enter key select roblox player launcher.exe click on add the roblox will now be added now click on options choose it to high performance click on save then you can close it next click on your windows search again type roblox right click on roblox player choose open file location again right click on roblox player choose open file location make a right click on roblox player launcher.exe click on properties click on the compatibility tab from top menu option and here you will find an option run this program as an administrator check this option click on apply click on ok and now try to launch your roblox player and i'm very sure that it will be working now but anyhow if none of the solution work for you then finally what you will have to do right click on the windows icon click on run type percent local app data percent again click on ok now here you have to look for the roblox folder once you get it right click on it and choose delete now if you're not able to delete it then make sure that the roblox has been completely closed on your computer and after that again try to delete it and still if you're not able to delete then restart the computer again come back to this percent local app data delete the roblox folder and then you have to download it again by visiting the roblox website okay so once you come to roblox website you can click on any of the game and the downloading and installation will be started so that's all guys these are the best and possible solution to fix roblox not launching or not opening problem on windows 10 and windows 11 hopefully you will find this video helpful guys and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye